in the city help us to build a stronger ecosystem. You wanted to have uh, enough variation, you wanted to be uh, robust, you wanted also to be uh, resilient, not too much depending on external factors for its survival, so that's very important. Uh, in many, uh, many aspects, uh, cities don't have this anymore, that actually for the, for the people in the city it's very difficult to survive, to, to maintain their, uh, their position. That's where commons can come in to help. A lot of knowledge is produced relating to ideas around the commons, but it's not shared to other communities who are dealing with the same issues. Cities and those who run these rural areas around have been commodified through time. So that means that the private interest is overcoming the public and the common interest. So you need to address that. A singular common is not, uh, is, is not something which will make uh, a healthy ecosystem. So we have to think of ways how to outscale, how to connect to each other. One thing which is typical for commons is that there is always a certain boundary around it. In that way it's very different from the mission we give to the public. Commons is much more enclosed. Therefore, when we think about outscaling, we have to see how we can stay porous, how we can say uh, transversal in this. But somehow this, uh, th there are new opportunities with local governments and we are just taking advantage of this. We are also in, uh, in contact with uh, progressive governments and they are giving us the chance to rebuild the meaning of the right to the city, the, to rebuild the meaning of the commons. In the UK we have the 2011 Localism Act, which was part of a Conservative government's uh, austerity agenda. And actually what, in, in trying to save money and trying to pass responsibility onto communities, it's actually provided communities with power which they can then claim. And actually what this legislation could do is it could strengthen the commons. So uh, it could, in theory, strengthen self-organisation. And so at the moment it's quite... Uh, it's quite fluid, it's quite early in the, in the process, but ultimately through legislation, I don't think it was intended, but I think possibly there is a scope for more community stake and more community ownership. We might be moving now from something uh, which you could call a welfare society to a common fair society that of course has to do with uh, shifts in power, it has to do with shifts in uh, legitimacy of uh, who can take the initiative, where it may be before was a public authority, now it's more and more a group of commoners. Um, there is a lot uh, going on there. And it's this kind of idea that the big, big local or the big society, it's about re reducing the financial uh, pressure on the states and passing it on a, as in a voluntary capacity. But actually, maybe within that legislation, there is scope for communities to kind of reclaim the city.